in an instant. And she got 10 seconds of that in the first kilometre as well. Yeah. It's uh, Mark. Here's Mark with her uh, husband cat, saying, cat get, off, get off the course. And she's saying, no, I'm going to keep going. Don't touch me. Yeah. This is the <laughs> thing about seconding uh, on the course because, of course, in triathlon, that is not allowed. As soon as you receive outside help, that is an instant DQ. <laughs> and here you can see <laughs> you talk to her, Mark, just talking to the official. <laughs> Communication. You talk to her. She's not listening to me. Do you remember when Mark said call? on the interview that, you know, they're both a bit prickly? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Matthews and Indy Lee. And <laughs> this is uh, a little insight into what's been happening at training camp in Lanzarote when... Uh, yeah, Mark refuses to make dinner or <laughs> Kat won't get Mark a beer. Yeah, Mark, Mark trying to talk her off the ledge, but Kat Matthews not having any of it. Well, that's, you mentioned it earlier, the pride, the, you know, just the fact that you want to finish. You, you've started something and you've trained for something. You want to finish. And so uh, even if she's walking, I think she's staying right now. I've started this. I want to finish. It's like the disbelief. It's almost like what we talked about, that she's like, I feel good, though. It's yeah. like just this thing, like, I should be able to keep going. I don't know what's going on. You can tell she keeps putting her hands out. Like, she's like, I just don't know what's going on. Like, it's it, the reason why she's not stepping off, like we've seen so many other people today, in my opinion at the moment, is that she feels great. And she feels like she should be able to be in this race. And you can see a point to her. Like, I don't know what's going on. It's just like, yeah. It's like she's, and like Rini said, she's an experienced physiotherapist. So it's almost like she doesn't know what's going on with it and thinks she should be able to continue because of how good she feels, but something's going on. Well, let's also not forget the fact that she's just been passed by Sky Munch, Sky Munch to be Pamela. in eighth place. So she's either an eighth or a ninth right now because I'm not sure if the second athlete was, uh, was lapped or not. But she's still in the top ten. You know, there is still merit to this. And there is still hope for her to open up, obviously, if she's not feeling bad and energetically still in the kind of shape that can get her through. So Lucy Charles Barclay, again, setting the pace. She has been up front ever since the horn, ever since she dove into the water. It has been her race to pace. I actually, I've had walks like this with my wife many times. <laughs> <laughs> forgot the poodle. Um, Kat, Kat Matthews so uh, frustrated uh, and disappointed in what is happening here. Yeah, so much effort. Pour your heart and, heart and soul into it, don't you? You do, you do. And, it, yeah, you're seeing, seeing that now. Just devastating. I hope it opens up for her and she can just trot around, um, you know, and get that finish. But it doesn't look promising. Well, she hasn't tried either. Uh, she's walked for a long ways now and hasn't even tried to start running again to test it. Yeah, it's at this point we start questioning whether it there is she, just cramp or off. whether it's something a little more serious because this is not typical of cramp. This sort of reaction and behavior, this isn't usually what we'd see. And maybe the, the level of emotion we're seeing here could be because she knows it's something more sinister and serious and she has huge plans this year. So. We really hope it's not, but it sort of seems like it might be. 